You built the automation, you hit publish, your first DM goes out, cool, cool. You're thinking, nailed it, funnel is funneling, but then your second message, no response. Your promo code, dead on arrival. Your smart delay, delayed forever. What happened? Meta happened. Did you know that if someone interacts with your business on Instagram or on Messenger, you've got 24 hours to send them automated messages? Go wild, link stuff, follow up, Meta's cool with it. But when that 24 hours is up, you're cut off. So that message that you scheduled for day two, not gonna send. If a subscriber falls outside of the 24 hour window and you have messages that are scheduled for them, ManyChat automatically prevents those messages from being sent. This automated protection helps you avoid violating Meta's policies without having to manually track every subscriber's time window. The 24 hour rule is Meta's way of saying, hey, don't be creepy. Once someone interacts with your automations by DMing you, by clicking a button, replying to a story, the clock is ticking. Most people build an automation, set a delay, think they're being strategic, but if that delay falls outside 24 hours from the user's last interaction, it won't send at all. And no one really warns you, except me right now. To send more messages, you have to get the user to interact First, that means that your opening DM has one job, bait the click. Just remember, the link in this initial window can't be to an external page like a product page. Button, quick reply, doesn't matter. Just make them tap. Because they clicked, you unlocked the 24 hour window. Now you can follow up later. Send a reminder, add a smart delay, go nuts. Just stay inside the window. Let's say your 24 hours are up. It doesn't mean that you're totally screwed. I'm ruined! You've got a few little hacks at your disposal. Live chat, you manually reply within seven days. It's fine, just no bots. Message tags, pre-approved reasons like your order is shipped or here's your event reminder. Use them right or don't use them at all. Messenger lists or OTNs, re-engagement tools with consent. Not dead, just on life support or and hear me out, you can just use quick automations. They literally walk you through setting up a working DM. They force you to use a button. They won't let you screw up your delay. It's kind of like floaties for people who hate compliance. So let's do a recap. You get 24 hours after someone interacts. The 24 hours resets every time that they interact with your automation. If they don't tap a button, then you're done. You're done. You're done. Smart delays past 24 hours, dead in the water. Live chat and manually responding on Instagram are your only outs. And if you don't wanna memorize all of that, just use quick automation. Whew, okay, now you know the rules. You know how to bend them without breaking things. You know how to get the click, keep the convo alive, and avoid the dreaded dead zone. You're armed, you're dangerous. Now go build something that actually works. By the way, if this whole thing kind of made your brain itch and you want more helpful mini chat tutorials, check out the mini chats playlist linked below this video. It's where we break down everything from automations to triggers to why isn't this damn thing sending? All right, see you soon.